Hey friends, what is up? And welcome back to the Board Game Garden. Oh, oh right, because we're going to the Board we're Game Store. We're going to Board right? Game Store like, today. I thought this was going in your vlog. <laughs> so we are currently in Akihabara in Japan. Francis and I are here for a little bit over two weeks and we are at our, we're on our first full day here in Japan. And of course it has to be going shopping. So we're going to the board game stores. Yeah. Hopefully this video is not too loud with wind. Fingers crossed. But yeah, whenever I go to any sort of board game store, I'm gonna bring you guys along and we're gonna do a little shopping. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you all the games that I end up grabbing. So we're gonna grab yeah. games. I thought you were surprising. Oh no. We're getting games. You don't need a bigger backpack. I have a whole list. But they're all like small card games. So. It's all good. That's why I brought my extra uh, carry on. Let's do it. So, can I, Monster Hunter, are these two different monsters in yeah. Monster Hunter? Zenogre and Rathenos. Zenogre and Rathenos. I know all about Monster Hunter. Babe, you should play the Monster Hunter board game. It's pretty cool seeing uh, like the Japanese stuff on things. I really want this expansion. This is an expansion for the White Castle. And I want it. Well, it's the matcha expansion. The jackpot. What is it? Look at no, just look at all these small box card games. Yeah, this is the one we're I didn't think I was gonna find any of the ones I was looking for, but then I was like, wait, they're all here. Oh my gosh. There's one that I'm looking for. It's a very weird name. It's like Sh Shud and Fred. It's a trick. It's a trick taking game. There's a You know what that means? It is German. Yeah. You know what it means? No, I don't. Finding joy in the misery of others. Oh, love that. I don't think it's here though. Well, this is a uh, Kabanga, but in knew this about me, but I've always been a huge fan of Genshin Impact. There's Klee, Mona,
board games. What? What is that? Oh my lord. Why must you do this to me? In vlogs. Oh baby. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna start trying to find the games that I'm looking for. No, that's not the game I'm looking for. <laughs> yep, that's it. I'm looking for a few things. Looking for Nana Christmas. I'm looking for Shoid Friden. Something like that. Uh, I think less than that.
is a game that I really want, but it's all in Japanese, so I'm not sure if I could get it and play it. But it's a game about owning, owning your own like, bathhouse. It's so cute. Jay from Cardboard East always talks about it and how good it is. have never seen this anime called After School Dice Club. You need to. It's my favorite. So far, we've gone to three different board game stores. Yeah. The first yeah. Yellow Submarine, yellow the one, well, we looked at the board games Yodobashi at Akiba? Yodobashi Akiba. Akiba. It's like a big, huge department store. Um, and then we went to another Yellow Submarine that was specifically only for like board games and TTRPGs. And then now we're at this location here which, there we go, there's the sign. Very excited. This is gonna be a quick one, but yes, very excited. We already got two bags of board games, baby. All right, we're back at another one. So many small card games. Most that I've seen so far. There's still a few that I'm looking for, so. Hello friends, what is up? Welcome back. It's been a while since we've done any board game shopping. We, since being in Akihabara, aka Tokyo, we've gone to Kanazawa, Kyoto, and now we're in Osaka, specifically in Namba. Yep. And Namba has a yellow submarine. Send help. <gasps> <laughs> Francis. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. 
Let's go find some board games. game is but if I had room in my suitcase I would definitely bring it back because it's very cute. might not have board games. It's gonna have a little board game section. I know it. All right, that second one was a false alarm. It wasn't actually board games. It was everything else aside from board games, unfortunately. Hey friends, what is up? Welcome back to this vlog. It has been a little bit since we've gone home from Japan. It's been a little bit over a week now since we've been home and I've been meaning to film this last part of this video. You guys would have seen that I've taken you along on my adventures board game shopping in Japan. Overall, it was a really good experience. I did have a list of games that I was looking for going into board game shopping in Japan and it proved to be a little bit more difficult than I thought to find some of the games. I thought that a lot of the games that I was looking for, like Nokosu Dice, um, I was looking for Dog Tag Trick, I was looking for Na Na Christmas, different things like that. I thought that those would be at every single board game store and they unfortunately were not. So I wasn't able to find everything that I was looking for, um, but I did have a lot of fun seeing all of these games that I have always wanted. And overall, just seeing all of the games that I know and love, but in Japanese, I thought it was very, very cool. Um, but yeah, I do wish that in some of the board game stores, I did take my time more, but you guys would have seen Francis was along with me and I felt really bad him having to kind of just be there and waiting for me to be finished. In hindsight, yes, we could have separated and he could have gone and done something, but at the same time, we are in a foreign country. I would probably feel a little bit scared being left alone, even if I was just kind of searching in a board game store. I don't know, I felt like maybe I would get lost or something like that. Also, we did have a pocket Wi-Fi, so if Francis left me, um, if I had the Wi-Fi, he would then not have any Wi-Fi. He wouldn't be able to use like Google Maps or anything, and it would happen with me as well. So yeah, we just thought that sticking together would probably would have been the smart thing, um, and I just felt bad 
having him having to stick around and stand around while I was looking at board games. So overall, super good experience. Um, I do wish I had a little bit more time to just search through all those games, but in all actuality, I really shouldn't be doing that. We are in Japan of all places, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I feel like I spent a good amount of time on the board games. Um, pretty much all of our shopping day in Shibuya, as well as Ginza, was pretty much just board game shopping with a little bit of gachapon as well as um, some clothing shopping as well. So I had like almost a full day of board game shopping um, and then a little bit more at the end of the trip in uh, Shinjuku, I believe it was. So yes, overall I was really happy and I did end up with a haul of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight board games. No, nine board games and I also got some additional things. So let's start with the additional things. The first one is this right here. You guys would have seen it in the vlog, but if you've never heard of this anime, it is called After School Dice Club, and I do believe that it is on Crunchyroll. That is the spot that we had to um, get or like sign up for in order to watch it. Um, but it is a anime about a group of girls that discover board games together. Um, actually, one of them worked at a board game store, and then two of them kind of started to discover board games. They went into this board game store, discovered that this other girl was working at the board game store, and then they all became friends and kind of discovered board games and played board games together. It was very cute. It's a very good um, anime if you want to watch it. Um, but you guys can see on the front here that they are all three playing Marrakesh, which I have played. Is this Marrakesh? Yes, it is. I have played, but only on BGA. Um, it's a very fun game where you're like putting down these different rugs and trying to, you know, get the most rugs on the board by the end of the game. Um, so yeah, it is fully in Japanese, so I'm really not going to be able to read it, but I more so bought it because like I've loved this anime. Um, they only have one season, and I do think that they have more in the manga and they could have continued but I don't think they have and I really wish they did or will in the future um but yeah I got the first manga here so I'm very very excited and this will more likely or most likely be just like a piece that I can put on a shelf or something um here in the office or something like that so that is the first thing that I picked up and the only other thing that is not a board game is this little tiny meeple right here you guys would have seen that we went to a lot of yellow submarines which that is the main kind of board game stores they have in Japan there's a ton of them I think we went to like four or five yellow submarines in total some of them have board games it's kind of overall like a hobby based shop so they also have like miniatures and painting and um like different like builds of like dioramas and stuff and all sorts of fun hobby stuff um but there are some that are specifically board games and ttrpgs but yeah i actually saw when i was checking out at one of the yellow submarines that they had these little submarine meeples so of course i had to purchase a little yellow submarine so i got that and then moving on to the board games which like i said I picked up, no, there is definitely eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight board games. And I didn't have a lot of suitcase space. You guys would have seen throughout this vlog that there were some that I would have loved to get, but I just didn't have space for them because they're just like slightly bigger games. So I pretty much just got all card games or small box games and then there's one that's slightly bigger which I'll get into but the first one here this one probably looks familiar um, some people have been chatting about this one recently it's pretty new in English it is called Pixies but here you have it in Japanese and Pixies I have played a few times on BGA and I have really really enjoyed it and I just think it's very cute to have it in Japanese I love the art in this game as well. It is from Bombix and it's, I believe in the same kind of small card game family as Sea Salt and Paper. And it's a very, very fun kind of tableau drafting card game. Super easy to play. And it is, um, what is it called when it doesn't matter if, what language it's in? I forget what that's called, but it doesn't matter the language because it's just cards with icons and numbers. So that is the first one. I got Pixies there. 
Um, another game that I was super excited to pick up is this one right here. This one I pretty much saw or did see at almost every uh, board game store. This is Dog Poker. And you guys would have seen it. there was another one as well called Cat Poker. Um, and this is actually from the people or the person that made or designed Nana. And they have Dog Poker and Cat Poker. Cat Poker has been recently made into Panda Panda by All Play. I do have that game, so I didn't feel the need to get Cat Poker, but I did pick up Dog Poker. I think it's the cutest thing. Like I said, it is from the person that designed Nana, and I love Nana. And all of the different cards here on the back have all different breeds of dogs, and I just think it's the cutest thing. So that is, I believe it's like similar to Nana, where you're trying to get some sort of hand of cards or something like that. All right, so next up is a trick-taking game. This one I actually purchased two of because my friend Kat wanted a copy of this one. And I do think that I saw some people purchasing this at Essen, so I think it was available at Essen. But this is a trick-taking game called Mil Milkiro? Milkiro? Um, it is a very cool looking trick taking game where cards actually have two ends, either the black side or the white side. And I do believe that there's a little bit of like, you're playing with the black side and then like halfway through you switch to the white side. Not 100% sure how exactly it plays, but it looks really good. And I'm very excited to play that one because you all know I really like trick taking games. Um, this one here, this next one, I honestly don't know anything about this game. I don't even know what this game is called. But when I was talking about After School Dice Club, this is a game that I saw in After School Dice Club. And I do think it's a game that is only available in Japan. And it's just so stinking cute. So this is the game here. It does say that it has English rules. If you know what the English name for this one is, please let me know. But it's like monsters. And the monster cards are very cute. There's like all sorts of different little monster cards. Um, and I honestly have no idea how it plays. It plays two to six players, which is great. Uh, this one does have English rules in it. And it just, it made me happy because I've seen it in After School Dice Club. So I was like, you know what, I have to, I have to grab that. So that is the next one that I got there. And then this one here is one that I've seen a ton and a lot of people have recommended this one when it comes to getting games in Japan. And this one does have English rules as well, which is awesome. It plays one to six players, so it does play solo. And that is this game right here, which in English, I do believe that it's called Harvest. And yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this whenever I was looking for what games people recommended from Japan when shopping in Japan. This was always on the list, so I grabbed it, of course, and again, have no idea how it plays. I meant to sit down and learn it a few times when we were on like the trains or the Shinkansen, um, or even on the flight back I tried to learn it, and it just, it didn't happen. So yes, that is Harvest. Really excited to play that one, specifically because it does have a solo mode. And then the last three are from the same designer, Sashi and Sashi. And this is a designer that I have really enjoyed a few of their games in the past. Um, I've played Coffee Roaster, which I really, really enjoy. It's a solo bag building game. I've played Photograph, aka Wind the Film from Sashi and Sashi. And I do believe I've played one or two other ones, but these three I saw and I haven't really seen them too, too much in uh, North America or here in Canada. Um, and if I do, they're usually pretty expensive. So I saw that they had a lot of Sashi and Sashi games at one of the Yellow Submarines. So the first one that I grabbed is this one here. This is in front of the elevators. I really enjoy the design style of Sashi and Sashi, specifically in Wind the Film or Photograph. I really, really enjoy that card game because it's like very unique in the way that you are moving the cards around and playing the cards down. So I'm assuming a lot of their games are very similar in that way. So this one here is in front of the elevators. Um, there was one called something about getting something ready for the guests. I'll put it here if I can think of it or if I remember it. Um, but I did recently get a game called Huga, which I do believe is a re-implementation of that game. And I do have that one. I think my friend Kat purchased it for me and I'm just needing to get it. So I didn't feel the need to purchase that one, but I did purchase these other three. So 
Next one from Sashi and Sashi, or just Sashi, is this here, which is a bus and stop. Very excited for this one. Again, don't know a ton about it, but I've heard good things about it. And then the last one here is the biggest of the boxes, but this is one that I've really wanted, and it is on the Board Game Bliss website, I think, but it is pretty expensive because it's in their import section, and they do have to up the price a little bit just due to having to get them imported. Um, I believe, but that game is Newsboys. So this is a roll and write, and it is from Sashi and Sashi, and it does have a English rule book, so that's good. Um, one to four players, so I can play this one solo. And it's a game about paper boys in Brooklyn, New York in the 19 or 1890s. Pretty interesting. I really, I'm really excited for this one. This is one that I, again, tried to learn um, a few times, but it just didn't happen. So yes, anyways, that is my little haul of all the games that I picked up in Japan. Again, I wish I found a few other ones that I've been looking for. Um, specifically, there's one that's like American Bookshop. I really wanted that one. It's like a trick taking game. There's also Coffee Labs or something like that, which I think is another Sashi and Sashi game. I could be wrong but I've been trying to find that one too because you guys know I love coffee games um, and I'd love to find more of those um, but there's that there was Nikosu Dice which I mentioned um, we were also trying to find Na Na Christmas which my friend I think Steph was wanting that one and then I, I also picked up Na Na for my friend Aiden so yes anyways that is going to be everything for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up also hit that subscribe button down below if you get to do so we'd love to have you here in the garden thank you guys so much for coming on this adventure i love you guys so so much remember you are somebody's reason to smile and i will see you in the next board game video which is most likely going to be a call because i desperately need to call some games because i i got a lot of games but i really i really don't know how to call them so We'll see. Maybe there won't be a call. Maybe there will. I'll see you guys then.